Adrian Wojnarowski reports that Russell Westbrook has communicated with the Chicago Bulls, the Los Angeles Clippers, and the Washington Wizards about a potential, you know, them being destinations for him to go if he is said bought out. Let's discuss all those possible locations where he could end up and where do you guys think would be the best location for him. I do think it's interesting to say the least that I personally think that he might stay in Utah because Utah, like when else will he get $47 million again? If he stays in Utah, he gets all $47 million. He gets as many touches as he wants and he could prove maybe to other teams before free agency starts that he can, you know, be deserving of more than the mid-level exception or something along those lines is my assumption. And I, I do personally think that he's a guy that still could be valuable for a team. So I want to, before we start the video, I'd love to hear your guys' opinions down below. Where do you think Russell Westbrook will end up? And we're going to discuss it because we have to figure out, is he going to start ring chasing right now? Okay, is this what he's going to do right now and start chasing those wins and not matter about what his role is? Or is he still caring to be that 20-point triple-double guy who, you know, no matter what the team record is, he's still getting his individual success. Like, I don't think that's what he is. I personally don't think that's what he is. He just does what he believes the team needs to win. So, I mean, your, your perception can be whatever it is. If you think what he does actually makes a difference in the win column, that's its own conversation. But let's talk about what the teams are the best fits. Before we start, I think the best fits are either the Washington Wizards or the the Miami Heat that's where he's going to get the most touches. I think all the other teams it's just going to be a bit more a bit more touches. I mean a bit less touches cuz he's going to have to share the ball handling duties with other people and I don't know if that's something that he's going to want to do. So let's just go through real quickly and talk about potentially all the teams that he could, you know, join which were the Chicago Bulls, the Los Angeles Clippers, the Miami Heat. All right and the wizards clippers bulls wizards heat so if we just go to like the wizards and he would have to split this duty with delon wright and monte morris and if i'm a wizards fan i would start russell westbrook in front of those guys he led us to a playoff spot like two years ago so immediately russell westbrook would be the starter with monte morris being the main backup for him and then delon wright being the specialist with jordan goodwin on a two-way I personally think that's the best fit for him if he wants to get if he doesn't believe he wants to play in Utah and he still wants to get as many minutes as possible and do his thing. Washington's his best fit. He knows the front office. He knows everything. Just Washington screams the best fit for him. Now, if he wants, you know, the best fit for him and actually chase a championship, it's Miami. You could argue that he would play in front. Of, I would start him over Kyle Lowry and then have Kyle Lowry be your sixth man, which Kyle Lowry would be like at this age would be better utilized playing 20 minutes, 25 minutes a night than his 30 he is. So, and then you would still have Vince Gate, uh, Vincent Gate, Gabe Vincent, God, Gabe Vincent, uh, you know, as an option and Victor Oladipo as well. So I think those two right there are the forefront. Then out of the contending teams, I don't, I think the Bulls have, I think the Bulls are the worst option. Yeah, Chicago would be nice and he could start. But what if Lonzo comes back? Uh, you know, I, eventually Lonzo, you'd rather start Lonzo over Russell once Lonzo 100% healthy. But that wouldn't happen this season, obviously. But still, I like Caruso kind of over Russell better. But there's Kobe White, Goran Dragic, who might be waived if they do sign Russell. Io DeSumo. There's just a lot more touches to go around. So for me, when I, I look at this situation, I'm like, okay, this is definitely way more difficult than you know you would you would be led to believe so that's where i want to hear your guys' thoughts do you guys agree with me i think chicago is the least likely because he wouldn't get the minutes that he would so desire and for me i think the minutes are a big thing and that's why he's contemplating staying on a team like you know the utah jazz and that's why i think the wizards are the truthfully if he cares for the touch i think the wizards and the the heat are the two more realistic because that gives him the opportunity to continue to do his style and again i again i i just don't know if he he's really changed his gears to where if he still views himself as a franchise player or if he's just ready to go ring chasing because i don't he hasn't really shown that that's what he wants to do yet but i do find that one interesting now if we go over to the last team which is the los angeles clippers there's Bones Highland, Eric Gordon already there that you'd have to split minutes, and Terrence Mann. So that 
it becomes hard. It becomes hard, truthfully, that it be, it it it's I don't know what the right fit is. And that's why I sit here and I, I wonder with you guys, what do you do? What do you do and how do you go about it? So I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below. What do you guys personally think Russell will do and why? I'm just as intrigued as you guys on where Russell Westbrook will go because it's, I think, a different situation than past buyouts, okay? So... I don't know. It's I per I maybe it's me being biased because I am somewhat I'm a Wizards fan. So, but I'm trying to remove my biasy and I just look at it. Where can he get the touches? Where can he play his ball if he's not championship chasing? And if he's championship chasing, all right, is he is this you know? What's the best fit still for his play style? Bye.